Superior capsule reconstruction is a technique to address the massive irreparable rotator cuff tear. The Arthroflex dermal allograft in this technique will span the superior glenoid and humeral tuberosity to help reduce superior translation and improve glenohumeral joint kinematics. The superior glenoid and humeral tuberosity bone beds are prepared using a flush cut burr and power rasp. The power pick is used for additional footprint preparation to maximize vascular channels. Three 3.9 mm knotless corkscrew anchors are inserted into the superior glenoid through percutaneous skin incisions spanning the glenoid from anterior to posterior. And two biocomposite swivel lock anchors preloaded with fiber tape are inserted into the prepared footprint of the greater tuberosity. The SCR guide is used to estimate the distances between the anchor positions utilizing the suture from the anchors. As the SCR guide shifts from anchor to anchor, the relative suture position identifies the distances between anchors. These measurements are recorded and used to shape the Arthroflex graft. Small holes are made in the Arthroflex graft at the corresponding anchor locations of the fiber tape sutures to simplify suture passage and ease suture sliding when positioning the graft. A 12 mm passport cannula is used in the lateral portal to help with suture management and graft passage. Use a retriever to carefully pull the fiber tape sutures through the passport cannula and then through the graft. Retrieve the blue repair stitch and loop side of the white-black shuttle stitch from the anterior anchor. The blue repair stitch is passed in a mattress configuration over its corresponding anchor position with a scorpion suture passer. The blue repair stitch is then inserted and folded through the white-black shuttle stitch loop. The opposing end of the shuttle stitch is pulled, retrieving the blue repair suture back through the anchor and out the corresponding percutaneous skin portal. Repeat this process for all three anchors. Grasp the leading edge of the graft with the back grasper. Pull the graft through the passport cannula into position while systematically pulling tension on the three blue repair stitches to minimize slack in the suture. With the graft in place, the three blue repair stitches are tensioned to their final fixation, compressing the graft to the glenoid bone. Once the medial side is complete, the humeral side is fixated using a standard knotless speed bridge repair to maximize fixation strength and enhance footprint compression between the graft and bone. Margin convergence sutures are added anteriorly and posteriorly between the arthroflex and remaining rotator cuff tissue. The completed superior capsule reconstruction helps reduce superior humeral translation and improve shoulder kinematics by anatomically replacing the superior capsule.